Hello everybody, this is Paul from Ortho Eval Pal and today I want to uh, show you Dan here. Dan has some very classic signs of vascular thoracic outlet syndrome and how long have you been having these symptoms Dan? Uh, about a year now. About a year, okay. And how would you describe the feeling that you get when you get it? Um, typically, mostly at night and stuff like that is a, is a feeling that they've fallen asleep to the point that they become very painful, almost like a needly pain um, with no no sensation, just uh, asleep to the point of painful. Okay, and you have this on both sides? Both sides. Okay, would you ever say that uh, you have difficulty maybe driving with your arms out in front of you or working overhead? Most definitely. Okay. Dri driving is very difficult, constant yeah. changing of, of hands and arms. Yeah, and classic signs of vascular thoracic outlet syndrome would be uh, globalized tingling, globalized aching, would you say that you have a sensation of a, a dead feeling, a heavy feeling, or maybe a feeling of fatigue? Yes. Yeah, all yes. the above? All the above. And so a de that dead, cold, heavy feeling is very classic with vascular thoracic outlet syndrome. Um, he has a lot of tightness here. He's had uh, a bunch of tests to rule out neurological issues or nerve-related issues. So what I want to do today is demonstrate a ruse test so that you can see what this looks like. The ruse test should last you, you know, up to three minutes, but most people can't tolerate that. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to get you into this position. We do what we call the pitcher's position on each side. Elbows at 90 degrees, shoulders at 90 degrees. And what I'd like you to do is open and close the hands like that. Okay, and we're probably going to go 30 seconds to a minute, but if you take a look at this hand here already, you're going to notice it's starting to blanch. So some of the things we look for in a ruse test is this discoloration of the hand, so the, the hand's calling for blood flow and it's not getting it. Um, the other thing you'll notice is this lack of coordination. This is starting to, starting to get hard to keep those fingers opening and closing nicely. So they start to lose that coordination. And how about heaviness in the arms? Definitely heavy. I'm yeah. Ready for a break already. Yeah. Okay, and we haven't even been 30 seconds, so you can see the hand. Now what we're going to do is we're going to let the arms down, and then we're going to zoom in on the hand, if we can. Open up that hand, just like this. Notice the blood flow is coming back. Arm has a lot of relief in it because you can let it down. So that would be considered a, a definitely a positive ruse test. And um, so we are working with him and stretching the pectorals, stretching the scalenes, trying to open them up, strengthening the muscles behind the shoulder blades to help bring them back and get that neck into a better position. So uh, we're gonna work at this for a little bit, but Dan, thank you so much for being our volunteer today and uh, showing everybody what a positive roost test looks like. If you liked today's video, make sure that you give us a thumbs up and um, also be sure to subscribe to our channel so that whenever we have a new video come out, uh, you'll be the first to be notified. Take care.